I see you did a world record to GM, six hours, 35 minutes. Do you think you can beat that record in less time? Uh, maybe, but honestly, probably not. Uh, I'll tell you why in a moment. Captain Cuddleworth, thank you. Captain Scuttleworth, thanks so much for the 23 months, then almost years. Where does the time go? Hey, we're getting older. Time flies. Time flies. Uh, what means thanks so much for the 14 months in Chrysler. Thanks so much for the three months as welcome back from vacation. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, so, could I do it in less time? I honestly don't think so. It's, uh, the reason for that is because... Um, simply my skill level, and I know it's proxy raxes, and it's like, haha, easy to execute, you know? But proxy raxes, to execute them well, like at, a, at higher levels, requires you to be on point with your micro, which I don't think I am right now, or even in a month I wouldn't be, right? So I think while I would be able to do it with like trying to do it as fast as possible I don't know if I would be able to do it in a, in a faster time simply because of that I think I would in general I would actually lose more games I think when I did that series I lost one game I think but I think if I redid that thing now I would probably lose a couple more maybe and uh, by losing a couple more you know that obviously slows down the whole thing Do you think Zerg's win rate is inflated thanks to players like Cyril and Rainer? Uh, no, I don't think so. Need more minerals for that. Um, don't get me wrong, I think Cyril and Rainer are insanely skilled players, and uh, I think even if the Zerg was quote-unquote balanced, they would still be at the top. You know, so I don't think that would- I don't think whatever Zerg nerf Zerg receives, I don't think Cyril and Rainer are gonna like be shit players, right? They're, they're gonna be at the top, right? But I think the issue that you need to look at is... Hmm, how do I put it? Um, when quite a lot of players from one race are doing well, usually there's a reason for it. They didn't suddenly, you know, get better at the game. There's a reason for it. Maps, balance, you know, whatever, right? But there's a reason for it. And, um, you know, now that's Zergs, and, um, I mean, it has been Zergs for a whole legacy of the Zerg, pretty much. But that'll cost more minerals than we have. Yeah. We don't have enough energy too low. That'll cost more minerals than we have. It's it's kind of weird because there are some Zerg players that I think are genuinely good, but they just get kind of thrown into the whole pad Zerg category, right? Like even if there's a let, let's say there's a legit good Zerg now and that comes up and, and starts playing and winning, right? Everyone's just gonna toss it to like, eh, Pad Zerg. You know what I mean? No one's gonna really be like, oh wow, you know, or whatever. Everyone's just gonna assume it's a Pad Zerg and that's it. And that kind of sucks, but that's always happened in StarCraft too. Like whenever one race was like really dominant, um, it's just kind of how it went. People just kind of brush it off because their race is the strongest, so they're quote unquote supposed to win. Not enough energy. A queen's just been born. Energy's too low. Don't have enough minerals. Hive cluster first, another 
Tell me that's not the sickest snipe you've seen in your life. Right now, tell me in the chat I was not sick of sniping in your life and I get and I just ban you right now. Huh? What? Enemy spotted. You were pissing? I'll excuse you this one time. I'll excuse you this one time. You're never allowed to go pee again while the game is on. We got that clear? Okay. War Prism comes out. Cutie patootie. Smells it. Boom. Reported. <laughs> I see the prism coming. <laughs> he warps in oh, Dark right. Templar. That's right. What do I do? I <laughs> go for it. I smell it. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. He decides it's moving time. Look at his reaction. Look at this bit bigger. Look at that. <laughs> Say it. Say it with me. What? Oh, he said what? Oh, 96 8 p.m. Okay, well, that explains it. And he reported me. 5.3k. Yeah. <laughs> uh, reported for... Uh, gotta love the 5.3k barcode. Well, you know, some people uh, barcode to practice strategies, right? Um, some people pra barcode to practice for tournaments, right? Some people barcode because they're molding people that when they lose they report you even though there's an overlord right above <laughs> natural seeing everything he's doing but yeah either zerg is broken or you hacked why not both wait wait you guys wait you guys remember when i was accused of hacking you guys remember that well funny thing happened actually Oops. Oh, what did I do? Funny thing happened. That'll cost more minerals than we have. Um, we don't have enough minerals. I did get Scarab Lord, and actually my guild helped me so much. We finished everything in Scarab Lord farm in five days total. Like, all the Scarab farming and all the quests were done in five days, except for the, uh, Second reset and need to wait, but oh my god, it just went double overlord. Now oh, whatever. And um, then we had to wait two more weeks for the for the uh, war efforts to be turned in. When I was doing that farm, by the way, for people that are not aware, I'm not gonna go into details because you know if you're not playing well, you don't know what it is. But in five days, I've slept. 14 or 15 hours total. Yeah. Including a lot of my uh, friends from the guild. Because they were helping me. Like, we went ham. And the funny thing is we got it on, first on the server. But then we couldn't, I couldn't actually turn it in for another two weeks. Yeah. Which is funny, because the reason why we went so ham is because we were like, oh shit, like, what if... Because basically, for those people that don't know, the reason why we played so much is because the moment that 
quest thing that we were doing gets turned in, you only have 10 hours if you also completed it to turn it in. If you don't turn it in, all the shit you've done is for nothing. So we didn't know when the whole thing is going to be finished, so we rushed it. And we rushed it super hard. And it turned out we could have taken it just chill. Woo! 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 Red alert. Red alert. Red alert. Woo! Woo! Red alert. Beep. Bop. Beep. Wait, is Reapers? Wait, what? Oh, that bunker is not even in range. That's the best part. This plant. Energy is too low. Need more minerals for that. Not enough. 
enough energy. Our forces have encountered the enemy. Energy is too low. Not enough energy. He made starport, but he didn't do anything with it. Can't do that without. Can't follow that command. Not enough energy. Can't follow. Not enough energy. Find more open energy is too low. You have to place that thing on creep. You can't do that without creep. Your brood has found something to chew on.
require more gas. We need more Vespies. Mutation complete. We're at maximum supply. Like your brood has evolved. Forces have encountered the enemy. Not enough energy. Something to chew on. Nothing left in that mineral cluster. Mineral field.
Maximum supply. Can't follow that command. Can't follow that command. Our supply is capped out. Energy. Mineral field depleted. Can't follow that command. We're at maximum supply. Sorry about that, I thought I thought someone opened the door. Alright.
supply is capped out. Not enough energy. We've completely mined out a mineral field. Can't follow that command. We're at maximum energy too low. And I thought I was toasted when he was pushing. Because I had like only corruptors and only like swarmos and nothing else. And I was like, well, I guess I'm dead. But uh, Kalp used to be, by the way, like high GM if this is him, which I'm assuming it is. Yeah, so he used to be GM. And he used to be GM in Wings. Because I remember he's, he's been playing StarCraft 2 forever. 2010 Masters was, I think, the highest rank. 2011, I'm actually not sure. I think GM came out by then. GG. Wow, an epic game. Right in front of us. <laughs>